Personal trainers are a dime a dozen. <laughs> the sad truth is, to be successful in the industry today, all you need is good genetics, the right personality, the right marketing, and lots of steroids. <laughs> Certification? Ah, just find the easiest and least respected weekend course out there and call it a day. Formal education? Don't bother. You have a four-year degree in bro science with honors. <laughs> Worried that you might need to know about injury prevention and therapeutic exercise prescription? Sounds complicated. Just stick to training healthy but broke 20-year-olds looking to tone up and charge them next to nothing so you never run the risk of trying to fix dysfunctional bodies of real adults with real jobs. What I'm getting at is any monkey can get in this business and appear to be good at it. Why? Because of something called the novice effect. The novice effect explains that just the single act of sticking to any workout and diet plan alone is more than enough to see big changes at first. This is why you see so many trainers who fixate over how to perfect 60 different variations of a bicep curl. But when it comes time to move a client past their newbie gains and bust through plateaus, they only know how to offer the same but more. Writing seven paragraphs on the form and technique of a dumbbell pullover is a cheap way to sound smart on social media, <laughs> but not much more than that. Just watch enough YouTube videos and you'll be able to coach the perfect chest fly. But training is about more than perfecting one exercise or one workout or one week's worth of workouts. Knowing how to string those workouts together and actually program your client's progression week to week, month to month, year to year, past those initial plateaus takes a lot more experience and deeper knowledge base. It's also the difference between training muscles and training movement patterns and between exercise and training. That's not to say there's anything wrong with bodybuilding or machines or isolation movements. They are great. But if your coach doesn't seem at all interested in gradually improving your squat, your deadlift, or your overhead press, or even bothering to teach them at all, you might have a dollar store trainer. If you're a beginner or novice lifter and your coach never had you doing anything less than 10 reps on a given exercise, you might have a dollar store trainer. Another clue that you might have a dollar store trainer is that they have no versatility. When your only tool is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. A dollar store trainer will train a 65 year old grandma the same way he'll train a 20 year old party bro, throwing them straight on the pec deck and machine bicep curl on day one. Because being the biggest, puffiest alpha douche in the gym is all they know and the whole point of fitness. Avoid the dollar store trainer. Instead, seek out someone who emphasizes strength, mobility, function, and progression. With these pillars, you can then build the proper foundation from which to reach your specific goals. Whether that's big puffy muscles or simply being a more capable, useful, and formidable human being. 